That was the fascination of writing for the theatre for me, was that you could sit in the audience and, and feel how the audience was reacting to what you've written. And when you write a novel, um, you, you could never actually share the reading experience. In fact, it's rather uncomfortable to sit in the same room with somebody who is reading your novel, um, because it is a very private interior affair. Uh, and uh, you're watching them and see, are they smiling or are the right places or whatever. Uh, uh, but you, that, that's anyway a very exceptional situation because 99.9% .9 of your readers you will never meet or see them reading your book or hear from them. Uh, but with the theatre you do get that instant um, reaction and that's fascinating for a writer. Coming back to France in November uh, to attend the premiere of uh, the French translation of a, a play that I wrote quite a long time ago, in fact, it was first uh, performed in Birmingham in 1990 and subsequently in, the, in America. Um, but it's, um, it's not been done in France before. And in French, it's going to be called l'atelier d'écriture. It's, it's called the writing game in, in English. And it's set in a, a residential course for aspiring creative writers, a short course in a remote country setting. And it's really about the uh, tensions between the professional writers who are tutoring the course, but there is a, also a student. Uh, this is um, becoming increasingly common uh, in England. These creative writing courses are very popular, as they are in universities too. And um, it's another of my uh, explorations of the um, psychopathology of writers <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, the way in which personal, like sexual, rivalry can become uh, entwined with literary rivalry. Uh, it's, um, it's, I think, quite a funny play, um, and it contrasts English and American attitudes to writing uh, as well, because one, one of the main characters is an American writer. And anyway, this is being done in um, Bayonne, to begin with, in their theatre, uh, and will then tour in the southwest, and hopefully may come to Paris. It will certainly be done at the Avignon Festival next year. Um, and I'm delighted it's going to have another life in France, and I should be interested to see how it's received. Uh, and there are many playwrights who, who cannot bear to, to sit in the theatre for their own play because they're so, you know, so sensitive to any slight fall in you know, enjoyment that they, that they feel. Um, and they, uh, well, Henry James famously was not present at the first night of his one London play and um, paced the streets and, uh, and well, went to see another play by Oscar Wilde, which was a very bad idea because that was very successful and his own was not. <laughs>